this past weekend I was at a conference and while it was fun and I enjoyed it and I there were a lot of sessions that were great, um, I did notice that a few people struggled with trying to switch back and forth between say their slides and YouTube and maybe a website they were trying to show. And I tweeted out that maybe it'd be a good idea for some presenters to learn some hotkeys or short, uh, keyboard shortcuts to be able to try and um, make it a little easier for them and us in the audience. So uh, in order to try and tell you what I'm doing, I thought I would show you. So let's start off with a PowerPoint presentation. So let's just say I have my PowerPoint presentation here and I'm ready to start on a Windows machine. I just click F5 and I'm ready to go from the beginning, full screen. Uh, on a Mac, it's a little bit different. You have to hit the Command key and Shift and then hit the Return key and it will start from the beginning. So now you're started. Uh, how do you advance? Use the left and right arrow keys, um, be able to go back and forth between presentation uh, slides. Um, now, you get to a slide and you want to make it disappear. You have two options. You can hit B for black or W for white. And once you click on that same key again, so W again, it'll go back to your regular slide. So it's a nice way of kind of taking away the distraction. Or maybe you've advanced to a slide you don't quite want to get ready yet, but instead of going back and forth between slides, you can just hit B for black or W for white. Um, so now you've got your slides up. Um, what do you want to do? Well, maybe you want to kind of give some information, um, circle some information on there. There's a pen tool. Now I could just move my mouse over here and click on the pen tool and start my drawing. But the other thing you can also do is use the hot key for that. So you can use control P and you switches to pen mode. And then you can draw, for example, if you want to circle something. Now, Let's just say you've drawn it, you want to get rid of it. Well, that's really easy. You want to erase it. You just hit E and voila, it's gone. You'll notice I'm still in the pen mode. Um, in order to switch out, just hit the escape key and it will go back to an arrow and you'll be able to then use just like your regular back and forth and everything. So kind of handy little things to do. Now, I'm in my slide presentation and I've moved along. Maybe I'm at the end of my presentation or something and I want to get to a specific slide. So maybe for example, I have my little slide list, I've printed off my slide handout, and I know I have a question from somebody, I'm like, oh, well, let's go back to that slide. You can just hold down the number of the thing, so let's say it's a third slide, and you hold down the three, and you hit the enter key, and it will skip directly to that particular slide. So that's kind of handy, you don't have to toggle back and forth, you don't have to close and scroll and find the slide you want, just know the number that you want, hold down that number, hit the enter key, and it will jump directly to that one. Great, so now you're in your PowerPoint presentation. You decide, I need to go to a website, or I need to go to YouTube, which is also a website, but we wanna to go to one of those. So the easiest way to do it is not to escape out of here because then you'd have to start the full screen again with this. Just use the Alt tab or Command tab on a Mac, and you can then leave to go and it'll show you all of the programs down there and you just go to the one that you want and you let go of the alt key and voila so you just hit hold down the alt key or the command key and then hit tab 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 until you get to the program you want and then it goes here what's nice is i just hit alt tab and i'm back to my slides alt tab i'm back in my so it's really handy to go back and forth then so now i'm in chrome or i'm in another browser of some sort, Firefox, Safari, whatever. Many of them have their own uh, particular hotkeys, but there are some that overlap. So let's start off with some handy ones to know. So first off, I'm trying to move from tab to tab. I have four tabs that are open on my screen. What do I do? How do I move between them? Well, there's all sorts of ways of doing it, but the easiest one is just hold down the control key and tab, 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 tab. I can scroll between them all. So that's handy, that's one. But if I have a lot of tabs open, which you probably shouldn't under presentation, but hey, if you wanna know that, you can actually type in the number of the tab as well too. So I can actually, for example, if I wanted to go to the second tab, which is my Google one, I hit control two and it goes directly to that tab, handy. What about getting to the end or the beginning? Well, obviously the beginning is easy. Control one takes you to the first tab, but control nine will always take you to the last tab. Handy, so if you have more than nine tabs open, that doesn't really help. What if I wanna close off a tab? Well, that's easy. Control W closes the tab. Great, so far so good. But one of the things that also happens is sometimes you're in a particular website and you have really small text. That's where you're using the control plus to zoom in control minus to zoom out. That's really handy because sometimes the text isn't big enough for people in the back to see. So that's really handy to be able to do. Okay, so we've done that. We've done the tabbing. We've done all the things we wanted to do. 
Now, let's go to a YouTube video. So I'm going to hit Control-3 to go to my tab. Okay, now I'm there. So now what do I want to do? Well, I want to start this video. So let's start off this video. I'm going to do what I normally do with any video, whether it's on YouTube or QuickTime or Move Windows uh, Media Player or whatever, to hit the space bar. In a recent it starts episode and stops your video. Sort of almost it toggles you. There's some neat little handy tips, though, as well, too. If you hold down the space bar, it'll actually go in slow mode. But it also gives a kind of quirky audio, so just be prepared to that. So how do I mute the audio? Well, that's easy. Just hit M for mute. Now, if I hold down the space bar, you won't hear the audio, but it will go in slow-mo mode for the video until I let go. Then I click the space bar again, and it stops. Now, I don't want to mute it. I want to just make it just a little bit quieter, a little bit softer, or I want to do both. So that's where using the up or down keys will then adjust the audio as well. Okay, so handy little tip for up and down. What else can I do? Well, what if I'm in, I just want to skip a little bit in the video? Well, I can just use the left and right arrow keys and it will skip by five seconds into the video. So I can skip along to a specific spot. But what if it's a really long video and I want to skip to a specific spot? I could take my cue, take my remote or whatever, try and use my mouse to go along to the what I want. But you can also do these big jumps. So for example, if I want to skip to somewhere around halfway through the video, I just hit 5, 50%. If I hit 6, it's 60%, 9, 90%. So I can actually skip through different sections of the video just by clicking on a number. Zero will always take you back to the beginning. There you go. Handy dandy be able to skip around through things. Um, now, what about going full screen? F full screen, F out of full screen. So there are some handy things I'm hoping that we'll be able to give you some tips about what you can do to make your presentation much smoother. Hope that helps. Let me know. Talk to you later.